For many fans, the most glaring example of this favoritism came during the pandemic. Cody essentially quarantined himself with Robin and her children, barely visiting his other families. His reasoning was that Robin's children were younger and needed more of his time, especially with the schools closed and social interactions limited. But this decision only fueled resentment. Janelle's children, for instance, were older but still living at home. Gabe and Garrison, in particular, expressed their frustration with their father, feeling abandoned during such an emotionally difficult time. Christine's daughter, Zebel, who was dealing with significant health issues, also felt the sting of Cody's absence. When she required surgery for her scoliosis, Cody opted not to accompany her, citing COVID concerns and his need to stay with Robin's family. This decision was heartbreaking for Christine and Isabel and was a pivotal moment in Christine's decision to leave the marriage altogether. Christine's departure in 2021 was a seismic shift in the Brown family dynamic, and much of her reasoning boiled down to Cody's treatment of her children. She felt that Cody had checked out of their relationship long before and was no longer an active participant in their children's lives. This was compounded by her belief that Cody was investing all of his emotional energy into Robin and her children. It's not just time and emotional energy that seem to be disproportionately allocated to Robin's children. There's also the matter of finances. Many fans have speculated that Robin's children, particularly those from her previous marriage, are receiving more financial support than Cody's other children. The Brown family's financial situation has always been somewhat opaque, but over the years, there have been hints that money is a significant source of tension. When Robin joined the family, Cody legally divorced his first wife, Mary, in order to marry Robin and legally adopt her three children from her previous marriage. This decision wasn't just an emotional one. It had financial implications as well. By adopting Robin's children, Cody ensured they had access to the same benefits and legal protections as his biological children, including his health insurance and any inheritance plans. While this move may have made sense from a legal perspective, it added to the perception that Cody was prioritizing Robin's children above his others. Janelle, for instance, has voiced concerns about the family's financial decisions, especially regarding housing. Robin's large house, which Cody spent a considerable amount of money on, stands in stark contrast to the more modest accommodations of his other wives. Janelle, who has always been financially savvy, has been vocal about the need for more equitable distribution of the family's resources. As Cody continues to invest more in Robin's children, the emotional fallout is becoming increasingly evident. Mary, Janelle, and Christine's children have all expressed, either directly or indirectly, that they feel abandoned by their father. Even Cody's relationships with his older children, like Logan and Madison, seem strained. It's particularly painful for his other wives, who have watched their children suffer from Cody's emotional distance. For years, they've tried to make the polygamous lifestyle work, raising their children in a loving but complicated family structure. But as Cody drifts further into Robin's orbit, the cracks in the foundation of their family have only deepened. Christine's decision to leave the marriage was a wake-up call, but it doesn't seem to have changed Cody's behavior. If anything, he seems more entrenched in his relationship with Robin and her children, further alienating his other wives and their kids. In the world of sister wives, Cody Brown's favoritism toward Robin's children is no longer just a storyline. It's a real and painful dynamic that is tearing the family apart. As Cody ensures Robin's kids get everything, his time, his attention, and his financial resources, his other children are left to pick up the pieces of their fractured relationship with their father. The question now is whether this family can ever find its way back to the unity it once had, or if Cody's choices have irreparably damaged the bonds that once held them together. For now, it seems that the Brown family, once a symbol of polygamous unity, is a house divided, and, as each season unfolds, the cracks in that house only grow deeper. Do you find it surprising that Cody obtained this home on false pretenses of a trust, or do you believe he was merely looking for a way to purchase an opulent home? Tell us in the comments. Since then, they have continued to live openly, while polygamy remains illegal in many states. In 2020, Utah reduced the legal penalties for polygamy, downgrading it from a felony to an infraction, but Cody's family has always walked a fine line between their religious practices and the law. An injunction is a legal order issued by a court that requires a person to either do something or refrain from doing something. Injunctions are typically sought in civil cases where one party seeks to prevent the other from taking certain actions that could cause harm or violate legal rights. 
There are different types of injunctions, such as temporary restraining orders, TROs, preliminary injunctions, and permanent injunctions. A TRO is usually issued in urgent situations to prevent immediate harm, while preliminary and permanent injunctions are issued after a court has had more time to consider the case. Violating an injunction can have serious consequences. If a person disobeys the court's order, they can be held in contempt of court, which can result in fines, jail time, or both. The severity of the punishment depends on the nature of the violation and whether it was willful or accidental. At this point, you might be wondering why Cody Brown, a man whose biggest legal issues to date have been related to polygamy, would be facing an injunction. While there's no public information about a specific injunction against Cody Brown as of now, it's not far-fetched to imagine that legal actions could be taken against him, especially in relation to his family's high-profile disputes or issues involving their legal residents, business dealings, or personal conflicts. For example, an injunction could be sought in a family dispute, where one party is seeking to prevent another from taking certain actions that would affect their rights. In the case of the Browns with multiple wives and children, disputes over property, custody, or financial matters could potentially result in legal action, leading to a court issuing an injunction. Alternatively, an injunction could be related to the family's business dealings. As reality TV stars, the Browns are involved in numerous ventures that could result in legal disputes with business partners, networks, or other parties. If a court finds that Cody or another member of the family is engaging in actions that violate a contract or agreement, an injunction could be issued to prevent further violations. The question of whether Cody Brown could go to jail for violating an injunction depends on the specifics of the case. In general, courts do not take violations of injunctions lightly. If a court issues an order and the person subject to the injunction deliberately disobeys it, they can be found in contempt of court. Contempt of court is a serious offense and it can lead to a range of penalties, from fines to imprisonment. In some cases, the court may choose to impose a fine as a first step, especially if the violation was not considered severe. However, if the person continues to violate the order or if the violation caused significant harm, the court could escalate the punishment to include jail time. For example, if Cody were under an injunction to refrain from selling property in a family dispute and he went ahead with the sale despite the court's order, he could face penalties. If the violation was seen as willful and in bad faith, the court could impose a jail sentence as a deterrent. Moreover, the length of the jail sentence would depend on several factors, including the nature of the violation, the harm caused, and whether it was a first-time offense. In some cases, jail time for contempt of court can be relatively short, such as a few days or weeks, but in more serious cases, the sentence could be longer. While the Browns' legal entanglements are largely speculative at this point, it's important to note that legal issues often become intertwined with reality TV storylines. Viewers are drawn to the real-life drama and high stakes that come with potential legal consequences, and the Browns are no exception. If Cody Brown were ever to face legal action, including an injunction, it would likely become a major plotline on Sister Wives. The show has already tackled the family's legal battles over polygamy, and adding another layer of legal drama could boost ratings and keep viewers engaged. Cody Brown and his family have always walked a fine line between their religious beliefs, family structure, and law. While there is no public record of Cody currently facing an injunction, it's not impossible to imagine a scenario where he could be subject to one, especially given the complexities of his personal and professional life. If Cody were to violate an injunction, the consequences could be severe, including the possibility of jail time. However, whether he would actually face imprisonment would depend on the specifics of the violation, the harm caused, and the court's judgment.